I'm still working on my filming setup here at home and I just wanted to test it out real quick by making a short video about what you're going to need for Chem 270 or just like more generally about how to succeed in this course. Number one is to take care of yourself. I know it's a difficult time for all of us so just try to prioritize getting enough sleep every night and eating at least a little bit of something healthy and getting some exercise throughout the day because if you feel good you're going to be more likely to learn better. Number two is make sure to get the book. I know they're expensive, but at least this one will last you for two semesters. So if you're going to be taking Chem 370 after 270, then this will be your book. And when you get the book, make sure that you read the book. Uh, I usually like to read before I go to sleep or when I'm eating breakfast in the morning. And I'll be assigning homework problems out of this book, so it will be really handy for you to have it. Number three is get yourself a nice notebook or a journal. This would be a place to take notes during lectures or to work on your homework problems and your quizzes. And since you're going to be submitting all of your grading material online as photos, you can literally do everything in here. Yeah, you can get like a regular composition notebook or you can get something like really cute at Daiso or like a really fancy one. Uh, pretty much just like anything that will help you love organic chemistry. Number four is get yourself a molecular model kit. My personal favorites are the Molly Mod kits that come in a box like this. Um, they're really sturdy, uh, really pleasant to like touch and connect and disconnect bonds. Um, I highly recommend these, but they are quite expensive, um, but you can get them used online, so that might be a way to get uh, something nice for cheaper. Another option is to get a knockoff version of the Molly Mods. Uh, they look similar, but they're uh, definitely flimsier than the um, original one. But since they're cheaper, you could get more for the same money. You could get things like orbitals and stuff. And they come in this kind of a box. Another option is to get a molecular model kit from our chemistry uh, club on campus. And they look something like this with interesting uh, kind of locking uh, bonds. And if you're interested in one of these, send me an email and I can direct you to our chemistry club and you can get one of these for about $25. Another option is the one that we recommended through our bookstore and this is the cheapest one. Uh, the bonds are a little bit bigger. Uh, they're pretty sturdy but they're just like a lot larger and the bonds kind of like come as these boomerangs. Let's see what will focus. Uh, and you get this kit either online as used or you can get it from the bookstore, but this will probably be your cheapest option. So I highly recommend uh, getting a molecular model kit just to like help you visualize stuff, especially when we get to the subject of enantiomers and this will be like super, super helpful. So even if you're like a pretty good visual person like I am, it was still incredibly helpful for me to have something that I could like build and turn and kind of get a better feel for. So highly recommend. Um, get a molecular model kit. Last but not least, try your best to attend my Zoom lecture synchronously. Your tuition pays for me to teach you this stuff, so come and get your money's worth. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at noon, and I hope to see all of you there.